I will never ever look at a nutcracker the same way. Every holiday season, I am going to be reminded of this tale of the once and future nutcracker. Hello, book friends. My name is Flo, and this is the Grape Jelly Library, where we love to talk about books. Hello, and thanks for joining me. I always look forward to your visit. Today, we are going to talk about a recent holiday novel that I have finished, Hidden Sea. It is a novel written by Gregory Maguire, and it was published in 2017. It clocks in at about 387 pages long. It is an adult sci-fi fantasy fairy tale with darker undertones of Brothers Grimm fairy tale kind of vibe to it. And I am giving this book a four-star rating. Another um, FYI is I cried. I cried at the end of this sucker, and I don't usually cry at the end of a book. The last book that I remember crying um, during the ending was Meredith May's The Honey Bus, and that was about three years ago, so I've read quite a bit of books since then with no crying, and I have read quite a bit of books prior to that one with no crying. So when a good cry sneaks up on you, you have no choice but to um, give a book a four or a five star rating. Um, the reason I didn't give this book a five star rating is because there were certain parts of the book that I feel should have been left out. I don't feel it was necessary to mention. And also, um, the middle part was a little bit drawn out for me and not enough to make me bored or DNF it. Uh, but I did find myself saying, you know, is this necessary? Do not let that deter you from reading this book because upon completion of it and then reflection of it, I, I do see that the middle was necessary in building the end, um, in helping us to arrive at our destination and the impact that the end would have. Um, beautiful ending and didn't see didn't see it coming that I was going to cry, but um, as the words started to process in my mind, the tears started to fall, and yeah, so um, this is the story of a foundling who lives with an old man and an old woman in the Black Forest. One day, when it is decided that there's one too many mouths to feed, the old woman um, tells the old man, take this young one out into the forest and get him gone. While out in the forest, there is the loss of an eye, the injury to a leg, abandonment, the discovery of a forest animals who talk to one another, and a disgruntled, disgruntled gnome attached to the top of a knife blade. Um, as we progress through the book, Dirk learns to keep this disgruntled gnome in its place because the gnome I find kind of amusing because he's bossy and, um, you know, it's very much has to be his way, but Dirk learns to handle him and keep him in his place, in his pocket. <laughs> And sometimes has to verbally, you know, reprimand him. But um, it is, it's fun. It's a fun um, kind of book to get yourself trapped in. Yeah. But um, anyways, Dirk is left to figure out this cruel world and what his next move is going to be. So he finds himself arriving at the doorstep of a type of Catholic home for boys where he is christened with the surname Drosselmeyer. Now, as the book plays out, his name becomes elongated so that he may grow into the character or the person that he is to eventually become. And although 
Drosselmeyer never married or had any children of his own. He is very, very good with children and he finds himself throughout his life taking care of other people's children. The book takes us on many adventures. Um, it basically tells the whole story of The Toy Maker. It isn't until the end of this book where the beauty of this story really starts to shine through. He is discovering his own childhood through these children in the book and he enjoys taking care of these children but there's something very very special about this little girl and he wants to protect her at all costs and he reveals himself just to be a kind gentle caring human being despite all of the hardships that he has endured throughout his life. Holiday season or not, I highly recommend picking up this novel and taking yourself on the journey of the life and times of the toy maker. Um, I don't think that you'll go wrong. It is a wonderful, magical, lovely, beautiful story. And you should find out about it. Until my next video, know that I love you. Be well, be good, be reading.